a friend of mine, a dear friend, Marcos Pavlik, pianist and uh, colleague, um, suggested I listen to or dig into the music of Röntgen. Um, I was at a little bit of a loss as to what to pursue after the Von Bülow recordings. And, and he said, well, you know, you should look into the music of Julius Röntgen. And I, I did, and I liked it immediately. Um, I think I started with looking at the three romances, and I just thought, this is right up my alley. Um, being known as the Dutch Brahms didn't hurt because, I mean, I have a, I think I have some kind of a, an a affinity for the music or f feeling, I mean, at least I feel I have a feeling for Brahms and I, I, I love it dearly, his music. And um, so with Röntgen, it was just a step away from that. And in, in many cases, I mean, Röntgen reflects so many others. He reflects Mendelssohn and Schumann and, and Beethoven most specifically, probably, and uh, this was a logical road to pursue. Well, he's, you know, he would, he would be considered a post-romantic. Um, he went through some phases, uh, apparently, with this early phase of, of, of writing piano sonatas, um, but of course, he went back to piano sonatas later, I think, he had this early period where, you know, he was searching for his own voice um, and it was very much, his writing was very much steeped in the traditions um, of the time in the 1870s specifically. Um, later on, it looks to me as though he became um, much more involved in Dutch, uh, especially the folk music of Holland and, um, and his music, all of his music seems to be uh, very influenced by, um, by Dutch folk song and not just Dutch folk song, but I think folk song in general became very important to him. And uh, so, so that I find certainly in the later works. I'm very thankful uh, that in this project I've become acquainted with his family in Holland and uh, Julius Röntgen, his grandson, and uh, Jorian Röntgen, his grandnephew, I hope I have that right. Um, and they've been a tremendous source of inspiration and Julius uh, got me into the Netherlands Music Institute in The Hague and uh, where I was able to look in the archives and there's, you know, all of the Röntgen scores are in, in that institute and um, that became a very interesting part of this project was looking through the, the manuscripts um, and early, early editions. Of course, everything that I'm recording now is, is only available in a first edition. So I, I, I look forward to going back into the archives and and mining out some of the manuscript material and, and recording things that certainly haven't seen the light of day. Um, that, that's exciting.